new uh, Penguin series just dropped tonight at the time it's recording. And, uh, It's good, I like it. It's pretty much what I was expecting. Gotham City meets Sopranos. It's pretty much no other way to do it. I'm talking about doing a power grab type of story. The best uh, inspiration would definitely be the Sopranos. So I like the way it starts off with them. Do a little bit of recap, I like at the end of the Batman, with the flood, mention the red alert, mention the Batman. And then the whole time. You keep seeing uh, that one shot of Kyle of Oswald standing in his apartment, looking out over the city towards the end of the film. So this takes place like one week later after the events of the Batman, which I like a lot. And uh, I kind of wish they did this with Dark Knight movies because they skip so much time between those films. It's like when I think of uh, Christian Bale's death and was only there for like one year before he disappeared. So this is really good. For like filling in the gaps and all that. Well, I found an article online that said that the Batman will not show up in this in this show, which makes sense, I think. I don't think Batman will give a damn what Kawabach is doing. Doesn't see him as a threat. Could be a rookie mistake, but they do establish in the beginning of the film that it's a big city and he can't be everywhere, so. I mean, we don't think there's that many scenes at night anyway, so I wouldn't have to really worry about Batman showing up. It's not really doing that much yet, so. I can see Batman just not really giving a crap, giving a damn. Just because he's probably got more things he's doing at the moment. Would be, would it be cool to see, like, Bruce Wayne in the press conference, I was like slowly coming back in the spotlight, like something like that would be cool. But I wonder if you not know, putting him in there because fans are not available. Probably do another film right now, but won't be seeing the Batman part two for a while. And that'll definitely lead me into my next video for uh, well, what I think is a mistake, just making this into a trilogy. Especially with this, this new TV show, I just can't just drop today. First episode. I like just talking in general, I don't think it's, I think it's a mistake. Not a little more details in that video, but I think it's a mistake to uh, underutilize 80 years of comic book history by just cramming into another Dolphin trilogy. But in this episode, you kind of like seeing like the day-to-day -day life of criminals like the Penguin. Like the city underbelly of Gotham City, which is what that awful show Gotham tried to do, but failed miserably. I try to be like Gotham, it's like comic called Gotham Central. I mean, it failed miserably, but I think this show is doing what that show tried to do, but better, because it has a better setting, better tone. It clearly knows, the show clearly knows what it wants to be. The Gotham series did not, did not know what it wanted to be, and that's why I show failed. Right now, this show is launched. I'm wondering what that Gotham TV show would have been now. I kind of like the Jim Gordon and the Batman universe. 
I think he's unintentionally funny because he's just so over the top. But uh, I like seeing this version of the Penguin fleshing out this character, which I think a lot of films were not able to do because they, they skip time and the stuff is not able to like properly be developed. So I kind of, I really do like that uh, this show is taking advantage of that opportunity to build up this character to be a big deal down the line. And I just wish that this wasn't going to be confirmed to be honest, just another dumb trilogy because there's just so much potential here. I'm going to assume there's going to be like, what, eight or nine episodes of this? Hopefully we'll get more in one season so we can continue to build this up. Because we got Salas Amaroni introduced, we got Sophia Falcone, looks insane. Surprising cat her Holly Quinn, because she looks insane. You can see why you were scared. She looks insane. She claims she just got rehabilitated from Mark. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> I think she should have spent a couple another couple of years in there. But so far, I think it's a pretty compelling series, and I'm really excited to see more. But it is, there are some actually uh, funny moments. I just, <laughs> no, like, I like the relationship between Kalabot and his mother. I think that could go somewhere pretty interesting. I think it's kind of interesting when we have like villains that people see as villains, but they're behind the scenes are a lot more than what people perceive them to be. And that's what I mentioned a while ago was that how naive people can be when they see you a certain way and they, and they want to run the rest of the media. That's all they see. All they see is a quiet person. And, you know, we must be shy. I'm like, yeah, not really. This is what you see. <laughs> so I think it's going to be really interesting to see. What events transpire to build Oswald up to be one of Batman's greatest enemies. So hopefully we will some more battle bill chases down the line. We even got like an example of underestimating Kawapod is when he went to see Salvador of Moroni and he gave him the ring and that Moroni had given to Alberto. He's like, how'd you get this? And he's like, maybe more than you think. I know what that's like. So that's kind of makes him a little more, a little valuable. I kind of like that. Sometimes villains don't need to be straight up villains. Like the best villains are the ones that think they're the good guys. I think that's what they're going for with this. So we'll just have to wait and see. Oh. 